Good evening, and thank you for joining us for KX News at 10. I'm Jordan Adams. The City of College Station and Texas A&M University are now working together to educate students on the No More Than Four ordinance, which some students had not been following last year. Take a look. The No More Than Four ordinance is the city policy that no more than four unrelated persons can live in a single unit. Exceptions to the rule are adoption, guardianship, or marriage, for example. That would be, you know, five students who are occupying a home together is technically in violation of the city's uh, definition of what a family is in single-family neighborhoods. So our code enforcement team has been doing um, proactive enforcement in the fall on that, and so uh, some students receive citations. Those citations would usually include a fine ranging from $200 to $600. Now the city has stopped proactively enforcing the No More Than Four ordinance and is working to educate students about the rule with help from TAMU. And there are, of course, a lot of students who live in both College Station and Bryan, um, and so off-campus housing is certainly um, something that uh, is provided through pri the private market, um, but then we as the city are looking at different zoning controls and regulations um, to figure out where uh, student-oriented housing or more dense developments um, can and should go. With rent on the rise like so many other things, and the university only having about 12,000 beds for their 74,000 students, it can be hard for students to have a place to live let alone follow the city ordinance. It's definitely uh, something we're trying to look at holistically within the city of affordable housing as a whole. Um, the city has certain tools that we can use to encourage housing supply in certain areas, and so we're looking at that. Um, one of those tools is called the Middle Housing Zoning District. We just created that last October. A working group is now looking to proactively rezone areas in the city, thanks to that new zoning district that would encourage small increases in housing projects. 